NBC News political contributor Robert Gibbs is the former White House press secretary and a senior advisor to President Obama. Robert, good morning. Good morning, Willie. How are you? I'm doing well. We saw that photograph of the Oval Office. You saw stunned faces on just about <laughs> every advisor in the room. Why did President Obama do this at this juncture? Well, I think this is uh, Barack Obama circa 2008. I think he believes you uh, involve this country in military intervention in a deliberate manner, in a deliberate fashion. And I think going to Congress and seeking that approval, broadening that coalition and broadening that consensus is the way he believes we should take America to war. Robert, how much of this, though, is about political cover? Obviously, he saw that he wasn't going to have the support of Great Britain. The polls and NBC poll shows the American public is not particularly interested in entering another country. How much of this is about bringing Congress in on this decision and along for the ride and perhaps sharing some of the blame? Well, I certainly think there are obviously some politics at play here in terms of uh, having them with you. But I think the president believes that we present a broader, more strengthened coalition if uh, the people's representatives, along with the commander in chief, help make that decision. How much of this, though, is dependent on getting a coalition of votes together? Because you have on the left people who don't want to go to war. You have on the right the same. Right. You have people who've decided over the course of the last five years to stand in the way in the House of Representatives of everything President Obama has put forward. So I ask you, where are the votes for this? <laughs> right. Well, I think you touched on it, Willie. First of all, this is an enormous political gamble uh, by the president. Um, uh, and what you mentioned is you sort of have three camps. You have uh, the camp of John McCain, which is the president's not doing enough. You'll have uh, Republicans and Democrats who are uneasy with doing anything at all. I think this is going to be a tough case <clears throat> for this president to make, uh, an important case for him to make, because, as I said, that's a big gamble. I think, as Peter said, you'll see an effort to likely limit the statutory language uh, for this resolution that would include a prohibition on boots on the ground, no troops, uh, and maybe a time limit, an expiration date on some of that uh, legislative language in order to convince people that this is not uh, another war in the Middle East, but instead a targeted strike to prevent the use of chemical weapons. So, Robert, let's game this out one step further. What if it does go to the vote and that vote is no? And the, the Congress tells President Obama, no, you may not commit any American resources into Syria. What does he do then? Because he has said explicitly that a red line has been crossed. He said in August of 2011 that it was time for Bashar al-Assad to step aside. How can he move forward without Congress at this point? Well, I think, Willie, he'd, he'd be hard-pressed to move forward uh, absent another chemical attack. I think the president deciding that he had the authority but... Uh, believing that congressional authority uh, and authorization was crucial to moving forward. Uh, if the Congress says no, uh, I think that has to be the decision uh, that the president undertakes, much like we saw in Great Britain. Very quickly, Robert, do you think he gets the votes? I think he will get the votes. I think the Senate will be much easier. I think it will be very, very difficult in the House. I think Folks will spend a lot of time on the phones, and I think the president, it's really incumbent on the president to go speak directly to the American people about what's at stake for this country uh, and how we, uh, how we face down dictators that use chemical weapons against their own people. It's an important message to be heard, not just in Damascus, but in Iran and by Hezbollah. Robert Gibbs, we appreciate you being up with us on Labor Day morning. Thanks, Robert. Thank you, really.